Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Sam and today I'm going to teach you how to install Pixelmon for Minecraft 1.10.2 on your Mac. Here we go. So the first couple of things you need to do are you need to have your library folder present in your user folder and of course you need to install Forge for Minecraft 1.10.2 on your Mac. Thankfully I have two tutorials on how to do just that. Click on the screen to view the tutorials or the links will be in the description below if you prefer to go there. However, if you have already done both of those things, then we can continue. So in the description, I have linked the Pixelmon mod downloads page. Now scroll down to where it says Pixelmon core downloads. What you need is you need to pay attention to the version number of the mod and the Minecraft version that it is built for. So as you can see, the 1.10.2 version number is 5.00. So these are the two numbers that you have to keep in mind when looking for the 1.10.2 build. Now, as of this video, this mod is still in beta, but eventually, hopefully, it will be released in a final build form. So since this is in beta, you need to find the most recent version of it. As you can see, this is beta 5, this one is beta 4, this one is beta 3. You need to find the most recent version available of the 1.10.2 version of this mod. Now, usually the most recent version of the 1.10.2 mod will be displayed at the top of the page, so it should be relatively easy for you to find. To download the mod, head over here to this button right here, which looks like an arrow going down to a hard drive. That is your download link. And make sure you are downloading the most recent version that is available. So I'm going to do that. And it will take you to a page that looks something like this. Your download link will appear right here. Click that. And it should download as a .jar file. Now, if you are using Google Chrome, once the file is done downloading, it'll say that this type of file can harm your computer. This file will not harm your computer. Click keep, and now let's get out of Chrome. Now drag the Pixelmon file that you downloaded to the desktop. Now another thing we need to check out before we proceed with installing the mod into our Forge Minecraft profile is we need to check how much RAM our Mac has. So the way you do that is, in your menu bar, click the Apple logo, then you wanna click about this Mac. So you will find how much RAM is on your Mac right here. As you can see, mine has 16 gigabytes of RAM. You are going to need at least two gigabytes or higher of RAM to run Pixelmon. Otherwise, the game will crash. Now by default, Minecraft is set to run on one gigabyte. So I will show you how to fix that. Let's get out of that. Let's open up our finder. Click library, application support. Scroll down to where it says Minecraft, then press mods and drag your pixelmon.jar into the mods folder. Now let's get out of here. Let's open up our Minecraft application. In your drop down menu here, make sure you are on your Forge profile, then click edit profile. Under JVM arguments, select that and change this right here where it says dash XMX 1G to 2G, just like that. Then click Save Profile, and then press Play. Now before I dive into creating a single player world, I'm just going to head into my mods folder, and as you can see, Pixelmon is installed, so we are in business. Press Done. Now I'm going to create a single player world to try it out. So it should start off like this, where it's a little bit of an introduction to the mod, and then after that happens, you can then choose your Pokemon. So since I'm still pretty new to the world of Pokemon with the release of Pokemon Go, I am um, I am just going to select, uh, I'm probably gonna select Torchic, I'm gonna do that. And as you can see, we are in the game. So let's uh, walk around and it seems to be running fine, which is good. There's a Pokemon right over there. So I'm, go I'm just going to do a quick demonstration with a Pokeball. I haven't had too much luck catching these guys, probably because it knows that I'm in creative mode so it doesn't catch any of them. But basically what you do is you right click, you can throw it, and then it captures it. And then I don't know where the ball went, but it's probably gonna break, yeah, it breaks free. And I think it does that because I'm in creative mode, I'm not quite sure, but anyways, it works, which is fantastic. And that is, that is pretty much it. That is all you have to do. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.